As a realtor who has a passion for helping first-time home buyers, there are five common mistakes that I see over and over again when buying real estate. Hi, my name is Jay Dyson. I'm a realtor with eXp Realty, and I have a passion for helping first-time home buyers and sellers navigate the Toronto real estate market to leverage for their future. These are five mistakes that I commonly see first-time home buyers making in the Toronto real estate market. Number one, not getting your pre-approved not getting your pre-approval is like going to a music festival without your VIP pass. Without it, you're really unsure where you're going to land in the home buying process. Additionally, not knowing your pre-approval might get you in that sticky situation where you fall in love with a property that is outside of your price range and leaving you feeling super sad and demotivated by the whole process. Number two, overlooking hidden costs. Think about those budget airlines when you're booking a vacation and you see that ticketed price and you get really, really excited because you just found the deal of the year for this travel. But reality is there's some hidden fees. Some of these airlines actually charge for the seat. They add an additional charge for your baggage and you're gonna have to pay $10 for stale peanuts. This is the exact same situation that a lot of first time home buyers are in when it comes to closing costs. We recommend budgeting up to 3% of the purchase price to support your closing costs. Now your closing costs are outside of your down payment. These closing costs are your legal fees, this could be an appraisal from your lender, inspection, and even your moving costs is included in those closing fees. Number three is skipping a home inspection. Now, there's a little bit of a misconception with home inspections. They are not actually a pass or a fail. It's truly an information seeking session where you can learn about your property. Some things your home inspector is going to check for you is the age of your roof, the quality of your insulation. They're gonna check the bones of the foundation and really highlight any concerns or areas that you need to be aware of. As a first time home buyer, I encourage all of my clients to walk the property with the inspector because this is truly where you're going to get to know your property and all of those weird little quirks. Number four is ignoring the resale value. The reality is that this is your first home. It most likely is not gonna be your forever dream home. On average, millennials move every five years. So when we're shopping for your first home, it's important that we're looking for opportunities to upgrade, enhance, so that when you're ready to sell that property, we can get you up that real estate ladder a little bit closer to that forever dream home. Number five is getting swept away with emotions. Like that first love, the whirlwind takes over, over, and we often make mistakes and overlook some red flags. Like he likes pineapple on his pizza. Ugh. When buying your first home, it's really imperative that we don't get caught up in those emotions because that is when our decision quality starts to plummet. We wanna make sure that you are happy and content with the property that we're finding, but at the end of the day, do not fall in love until ink has dried on the paper. This reminds me of a story when I was helping a first time home buyer purchase a loft, we submitted an offer after the property had been on the market for 45 days. This offer was strong. My client was excited. She went home, she shared with her friends and family all of the different things that she was going to do to her new property. She even had a Pinterest board with all of the inspiration. What happened is the next day, there was another offer that was submitted and they won the property. It was really hard to get my client from that excitement to the downfall back into viewing properties because she was so dead set on that first one. So be careful with those emotions, don't fall in love too quickly, and get swept up in your emotions. These are five common mistakes that I see first time home buyers make in the process of buying their first property. Now, there are definitely other ones that we detail in our buyer's guide that you can get for free in the description box below. If you're liking this content, these tips and tricks, I encourage you to subscribe, like, leave a comment below, and I'll see you next week.